Good morning, y'all. This is another morning routine. I love morning routines. Like one thing about me, I'm going to have a morning routine. You know what I mean? So this is just what I've, oh my gosh, guys, you can tell how I'm really feeling this morning. This is what I've been doing this past winter. Um, and it's just kind of cozy. It really sets my day up for success. I'm still able to be a little cozy, but also productive and habit stack and get a bunch of stuff done. So I wake up around six. I put my hair in braids because my hair was just, you know, we were having a bad hair week this week, okay? Um, and then I headed out to the living room. This is actually my favorite time of the day. I love starting a fire in the morning and just like bundling up. But I wake up really early so that I'm able to do this and then it doesn't like cram into like my productive time in the day. You know what I mean? So I start off my day with some greens. I make myself drink the greens first. This is the only way. Oh, and I say hello to Dolly, obviously. This is the only way I drink water before I drink coffee. So I've been doing this because Macy has really been getting on my case because before I was drinking coffee on an empty stomach every morning and that's just not the vibe, okay? So I drink my greens and then here I am with my coffee. I like to read a nonfiction book in the morning. I have so many book recs on my Instagram at KE Book Club if y'all are ever needing any sort of recs. And then I also journal. I didn't film myself journaling, but this takes about 40 minutes. I'll read and I'll journal, okay? And then I go to the sauna, which is a new addition to my house, and I've been loving it. It's an infrared sauna, and I'll do this from anywhere to like 30 minutes to an hour, and I get, I read. Sometimes I'll answer emails in here. Sometimes I'll do other things. I'm actually really wanting to start meditating. Um, I'm like getting into it. 2024 is the year I become a meditator. I also do a little bit of house chores. That's me checking to see if I needed to water the plants. I did it because it's been raining a ton. And then it's time for me to get dressed for my workout. My workout is crucial for me in the morning because I definitely want to make sure that I'm actually getting in some movement. I continue on with my house chores. So I needed to add some chlorine tablets to the pool and then clean the pool. It's been rough, okay? The leaves are everywhere, and I don't know, but something about cleaning my pool is very therapeutic, so I don't mind it at all. I do a little bit more skincare out on some lip balm, and then I'm really ready to go. I answer any emails before leaving. This is not like 8 a.m. that are crucial for that day. And then um, I turn off the fire pit. I do a little bit of dishes, whatever it is, pick up my podcast, and I leave around 8, 10, 8, 15. I make sure I drink a ton of water, too, before. I've been trying to get better about this. And then my main choice of workout the past couple of years has been weightlifting. I'm still doing Pilates a ton, but I've been loving weightlifting. I just feel so strong. Like, if you guys saw what I was actually benching these days, you guys would be so amazed. This is a warm-up set, okay? Um, I'm really impressed by myself, truly. And I really genuinely enjoy it. I love where I go. And I think that's the most important thing with working out is to, like, actually enjoy your workout so that you're able to stay consistent and, like, actually like your day. You know what I mean? I'm all about saving time in the morning, so I love DoorDash for that reason. It's so convenient to just order my breakfast and have it ready for me when I get back from my workout. I've been a Dash member for years, so I get $0 delivery fees on eligible orders. Since I'm such a regular user, it was time for me to get the DoorDash Rewards MasterCard. It has great opportunities to earn cash back, like 4% cash back on DoorDash orders from hundreds of thousands of merchants on the app. Best part, if you're a new card member, you'll receive a free year of Dash Pass, a $96 value. Check out the link in my description to learn more. I was working from home that day, so I just picked out some lounge wear clothes like I always do. Um, and then I took a shower and did some of my skincare and body care just to get ready. Getting ready and I wanted to have a little morning routine chat. I'm drinking my green juice still and I'm not having the best hair day and this is what I do when I'm having a bad hair day. When you see me wearing this hairstyle like every day this year, I just look the other way. I'm gonna just do a little bit of makeup. I say that and then once I start doing makeup, I just do my normal routine, you know? I'm constantly changing my morning routine. What is it? When the morning, when the day, you know? I'm very passionate about a good morning routine. For me, as someone who has struggled with anxiety my entire life, a morning routine is crucial. And if y'all have not had a morning routine before, maybe this is like the year that you want to start, or, or even just like get some inspo. I love watching videos of everyone else's routines because I'm always like picking up little things. Uh, for me, I love to get movement in the morning. That's huge. I love to read and journal. You guys didn't see me journal this morning, but I do journal most mornings. I try to do my morning, what are my morning pages? If y'all have been watching my channel for a while, you heard me talk about it for sure, but you basically just write for three pages straight, pen to paper, and you don't take your pen off the paper. 
and even when you're like, I have nothing to write, I don't know what I'm talking about, I literally have nothing to say, whatever, eventually, things, like, get, it, like, it, like, grabs everything out of your brain, things that you didn't even know were bothering you, and then it also, and, like, gets it all out, and then it also is great for, like, inspiration, getting to know yourself, I really like that exercise. I really like to habit stack. Which I feel like I'm going to get way better about this year. That's one of my goals to get better about my morning routine. Because I feel like I could be doing a better job of this. Like reading while I drink my coffee and my greens in the morning. That's when I also journal. And then in the sauna, I'm always habit stacking. I'm always doing something. Whether it's meditating, which I'm really trying to get better about. Or reading like I did this morning. I've been reading Jamie Kern Lima's book. I have the advanced reader's copy. It's not out quite yet. It's coming out in February, and it is so good. Like, I recommend any girl to read this book. It is amazing. Like, the first 30% I read when I was in Dry Bar, and I was literally crying. It was so good. Another thing, I feel like a lot of the time when you're talking about a routine, all these things sound very elementary, but I think it's actually important to, like, stick with the basics sometimes. Like, not overcomplicate it. Something I did every single night as a kid was I would lay my outfit out the night before. Every single day as a kid. And I was like, why did I stop doing that as an adult? Like, I'll do it for, like, my workout clothes half the time. Um, and that's something I'm really wanting to implement in my morning or my night routine next year. Or this year in 2024. I cannot believe it's 2024. That is crazy. But it, basically, I'm trying to get as much done in the least amount of time so I'm able to start my day earlier but still able to, like, have it stack and get everything going. That's why you guys saw me ordering my breakfast. I do that right as I leave because then it arrives at my house literally right as I'm pulling up. So I have my breakfast ready to go. Um, that's, like, a really huge thing. Anything that will save me time... I am all about like I will do anything if it's saving me time I'm proud of myself I really did do a little makeup <sighs> another thing depending on the day in my workout schedule I'll go on a walk in the morning and I'll take the dogs on a walk I'll drink my coffee and then I'll either sometimes I'll take a call if I need to depending on the time or I'm listening to a podcast and I like to have my podcast prepped if I see podcasts that I want to listen to, I go ahead and download them. I feel like I waste so much time in the morning trying to find the perfect podcast, and I want to do everything I can to stay off my phone in the morning, but obviously I do need it for certain things, so I'm always having podcasts downloaded so then I can just, like, pick one when I'm ready to go in the morning because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I will take, like, 20 minutes to pick out a podcast, and that's just not good for my time, and it's not good for me to be on my phone, and then I feel like if I'm on my phone for that long, I'm just going to end up checking Instagram and TikTok, and I don't want to do that. What time do y'all wake up? Like, I'm trying to be a 5 a.m. girly this year. We'll see. I don't want to, like, push something that I feel like isn't actually beneficial to my life. Um, I've been doing 6 recently, but I just feel like I'm trying to, like, level up in life, like, big time. And I feel like 5 a.m. might be what I need to do, you know? So, oh, ow. Okay, I am ready for the day, let's do a little setting spray. I don't feel like I really needed setting spray with this makeup, but whatever. This is my outfit for today. I'm just working from home um, and I'm ready to go. But that's my morning routine to like, best optimize my day, have the best day ever, stay focused, stay on my goals, rise and grind, I'm just kidding. But it is just a good morning routine that helps me stay motivated and it helps me get all of my things done that I need to get. So comment below what time y'all wake up and your favorite part of your morning routine. I love you guys so much. Thank you to DoorDash for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye.